Hey guys, in previous video we saw that how we can store the Terraform state file in a storage account using backend uh, configuration of Terraform. And in this video we are going to see how we can use Terraform output block and how we can store a particular resources data if it is a name, location or any other particular value, resource ID, something like that, how we can store that particular data in state file and how we can use the state file later in our resource block okay so here this is what we did in previous video we just uh, created this backend configuration provide this, this particular key so it can store this state file in storage account and we have created this subnet 1 and subnet 2 so if we go back to the azure portal let me go back to the virtual network you can see this subnet are created dev and prod okay and if i go back to the storage account storage account and then container this is the subnet.tf state file so let me download this file and open in vs code here you can see uh, this is a complete json file and we can see that to subnet 1 and subnet 2 are successfully created over here in this resource block but we don't have any information in outputs okay so let's take an example that uh, you are creating resources and you want for an example you want a resource id okay you want to store the resource id of that resource in this output block and later you want to use that somewhere else in your terraform configuration how you can do that so right now we have created a subnet so let me close this subnet.tf state nothing is there in output block it is completely blank okay let me close this and we have created this two subnet this is what we created using terraform apply in my previous video so here you can see that in this id field it's showing known after apply and known after apply okay so right now what i will do is I will use Terraform output block in this configuration and I will store the these two created subnets subnet ID in output block field okay so to do that I am right here on subnet directory inside that I will create one more file called output.tf okay again the naming standard doesn't matter you can give this file any name or even if you want to use uh, this file configuration in the main.tf file or subnet.tf file you can do that okay so it doesn't matter at all here i will use output block and then i will give a name so first name for an example let's take an example that i want to store this prod subnet id okay so i will use prod subnet so this is just a label for your output block and inside that you can actually uh, write one more key called description and then value so i will use this key called description and i will just write description that this is prod subnet id and in value field i will use this particular resource type so as your rm subnet i will use that here then i will need this particular label subnet1 because subnet1 is linked to this prod so i will use dot then subnet1 and then what i want to what i want to store is uh, the id of the subnet so to store the id of the subnet we have this id attribute over here or even if you are not sure about the attribute then you can just go to the azure documentation page and here you can search for subnet and this is azure rm subnet this is the uh, actual code that we used and here you can get id it should be somewhere there so this is the attribute reference and the following attributes are exported so you can actually export the id and you can also even export at this particular 
name and resource group this detail as well so i will go here and i will use subnet one and then dot id okay and this is for uh proud subnet and i also want to store dev subnet id so i will copy this and here i will just use dev subnet this is for dev subnet and then azure rm subnet and dev subnet label it label is subnet 2 so i will use subnet 2 over here and then id attribute is same for all okay so let me go ahead and save this make sure that this output.tf file is in the same directory where your subnet.tf file is there okay even if you don't want to create this different output.tf file you can just copy this entire data and you can paste that after this that is also fine at all and even you can paste that over here also inside this uh, line number 20 that is also fine okay so you have these two uh, subnets already created and we have this output.tf file is ready so let me save that and here let me clear this one and i will type terraform plan okay so we already uh, did the initialization so i will use terraform plan and let's see okay so there are no changes in your actual configuration the only changes is going to do in output so changes to the output dev subnet and prod subnet so it will save this dev subnet and dev subnet subnet id and inside the prod subnet it will store this prod subnet subnet id so and this, this is nothing but a key that you are going to use if you want to import that output block or the state file in your uh, future configuration okay so let me go ahead and use terraform apply auto approve Okay, apply completed, nothing has been added, nothing has been changed, only the change that has been done in the Terraform state file and this particular subnet ID has been stored in Terraform state file. So let me go back here in our Terraform subnet.tf state file and let me download this file once again. And if I open this file, here in visual studio code now you can see that in output block we have dev subnet and we have value for dev subnet and that is nothing but your uh, development dev subnet subnet id and we also have this prod subnet key and this is the value for that prod subnet id so this is how you can store your out how you can use output block to store your values or any kind of information that you want to store once that resource is created and later you can use that output or state state file in your future configuration okay so right now what we did is we just uh, initiated this in our previous video we created this subnet and then we use this output.tf but you can actually use output.tf at the initial uh, terraform apply command okay so it is not not necessary that first you need to create these resources and then you can uh, export that output it is not uh, that is that is not recommended you can actually create this output.tf file at the starting of your resource creation so in case you are creating a virtual machine right now from the starting at that point you can also mention this output.tf file and it will just create the the terraform will create the virtual machine and then it will export 
those values into the output.tf file and it will store that value in your terraform state file which is uh, nothing but which is nothing but a store in your storage account okay so you can also do like that so we have this uh, subnet id stored in this output field so in later next video let's create a nick card and then let's see how we can import this particular state file and this outputs values to create a nick card using terraform